that they can do the same jobs through all the assisted technology. Sure. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Yeah, because yes. you, you all came out to RLCB. Yes, yes we did. Yeah, that's yes. one of the things when my counselor got me up off that chair and got me over to RLCB. Yes. It just changed my life. You know, yes. between Siri and the Siri on the iPad and yes. the cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Uh, you know, it takes time to learn all of that. But um, there's nothing that you can't do. Yeah. You know, and the 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 I call it my BVI community. There's some brilliant people. Yes. Brilliant, mm. brilliant, eager to work. Mm -hmm. yeah. They just want an opportunity. Yes. They just want a chance to do it. Right. And there's so many corporations that can find a way to incorporate them in there, just making some changes through technology. Mm -hmm. yes. They can do the same jobs as, the as, as anyone else is there. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and, and what I find, and we had the pleasure of meeting all the people at the Raleigh Lions Clinic for the Blind. Correct. Uh, yes. <laughs> they, uh, there's such a passion. These aren't just people who are just getting by, I have, a, I have an illness or I have a condition, let me just slide by. These are people who are game changers. Yes. And yes. I've met so many inspiring people. Very nice yes. people. Yes. yes. I'm inspired, that, and that's the whole thing. I'm inspired by the young adults that are blind and visually impaired, and they just want to live uh, just a normal life. You yes. know, they're out there. They want, they're going to college. They're getting their master's degrees. They're working in communications. Right. They're, you know, they're out catching buses, traveling around. They're braver than I am, okay. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and they want to live independently, yeah. you know, and we have to help them. Yes. be able to do that by employing them. Right. Yes. Yeah, we have to do that. Mm -hmm. Because I have, um, you know, what I've learned from them is that when they come to Governor Moorhead School as, as a child mm -hmm. and they spend the 18 years there and then they become that young adult, they've socialized here in, in the Raleigh area, mm -hmm. and then if they don't go on to college or get a job with some type of assisted technology that they've learned there at the school, they go back to the little rural town that they grew up in. You know, they left that town, you know, wearing a label as the blind person, right. and then they come back as the blind adult. Okay. And we have to change that. So I have a program that I'm working on now. Uh, one of the things that Steve Murphy said to me is that you don't totally have to reinvent yourself because you're no longer uh, you're no longer sighted. You just have to figure out how to do what you did before, you know, a little differently. Right. Yes. So I want to stay in the the wellness and the beauty industry, of course, no one's going to let me cut their hair. Richard might let me cut their hair. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no one's going to let me cut their hair anymore. But in the wellness industry, yes. I'm creating um, a reflex therapy course mm -hmm. where they can do, they can re reduce stress for people through foot massage, hand massage, and head massage, wow. and uh, scalp massage. And so there, we would be able to employ them. Uh, they would learn aromatherapy. Oh, okay. which they already know a lot about plants and smells and fragrances right. um, and they would be able to come to work and yes. provide these services in a wellness setting mm -hmm. um, so we call it four senses and I like that because you know we have five senses yeah. but of yes. course we're absent the sight right. mm -hmm. but we could take a sighted person who's living in this hustle bustle world yeah. and we can relax them yes. so it gives so much value um, to what we do right. as, a, as a blind or visually impaired person to be able to do that for people.